Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Kali Linux on your VMware Workstation player. So I'm assuming that you have already installed VMware Workstation player on your Windows operating system. So the only thing which we want here is the Kali Linux ISO file in order to install it on our VMware Workstation player. So to download the Kali Linux ISO file, just go to your favorite browser and search for Kali Linux. And then the first link which will appear here will be from kali.org. So I'm going to just click on this uh, website link. And then uh, here you will be able to see this download section. So you just need to hover over this download section and then you need to click on this uh, option which says download Kali Linux. Once you click on this option, you will be able to see uh, this kind of uh, web page. We want to download the Kali Linux 64 bit. So just choose this option which says Kali Linux 64 bit installer. And once you click on this link, the download of this Kali Linux ISO file will start. Now this is around 2 GB file, so it will take some time to download. So I have already downloaded this file. So let me show you this file, how it looks like. So this file looks like this. The name of the file is kali-linux-2020.1b, which is the version at the time of making this video, hyphen installer, hyphen amd64.iso file. So once you have downloaded this ISO file, we are ready to create our Kali Linux virtual machine with VMware player. So just go to your VMware player and here just click on create a new virtual machine. And here you can choose the last option which says I will install the operating system later. And then click on next. Now in this next window, uh, you need to choose the operating system. So because Kali is a Linux based operating system, so just choose a Linux option here. And here in the version, you can uh, see that the Kali Linux option is not there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the Debian 64 bit uh, uh, option here. Okay, you can also choose the Ubuntu 64 bit because both are Debian based and Kali is also a Debian based operating system. And now I'm going to click on the next button. And here you can provide a name to your virtual machine. I will uh, just change it to Kali and then click on next. Make sure that this location is okay for you. Otherwise you can change this location. So. If you want, you can change this location to the other location wherever you want to save your virtual machine. So let's say I want to save my virtual machine to the Kali folder here in my D drive. So I can do that and then uh, I'm going to click on the next button. And here you can specify the disk capacity. So I'm going to just provide 100 GB uh, disk capacity here and uh, just leave this as default, which is split virtual disk into multiple files and then click on next. And now here you can verify the specification which you have chosen. If you want to uh, change uh, these uh, uh, specification, you can just click on customize hardware. So just click on customize hardware. And in the memory, you can see by default 2 GB is assigned to our Kali Linux uh, virtual machine. I can move it to a little bit higher. Let's say I'm going to move it up to eight GB near about 8 GB and then you can uh, click on the processors option. So by default the number of processors assigned to your virtual machine is one. You can change it to let's say four or more in uh, your case if uh, your operating system allows it. I'm going to use the four uh, processor cores here. Now in the new CD DVD option you can uh, choose the ISO file location. So just choose this option which says new CD DVD and then click on uh, the use ISO image file and then browse for the Kali Linux uh, ISO file. So just give the location where your Kali Linux ISO file is located which you have downloaded and then just choose your ISO file and then click on open. Once you do this you will see the name of the Kali Linux ISO file here also so you can verify this. You can do other settings uh, also from here, but I will leave everything as default for now. You can change these settings 
anytime you want in the future also. So once you have done that, just close this uh, window and then click on finish. Once you click on finish, you will be able to see that on this VMware workstation player, this uh, Kali virtual machine is created. If you want to still do some uh, virtual machine related settings, then just choose Kali and then click on added virtual machine settings. And here also you can once again verify how much memory you have uh, assigned or processors or hard disk. So you can verify each and everything from here once again. And if everything looks good, you can just uh, click on play virtual machine, which is going to start the installation of Kali Linux on your uh, VMware player. So this is the first window for the installation. Kali Linux allows you to install uh, Kali in a few different ways, but we are going to choose the graphical install. So if you see uh, this highlighted uh, option here, graphical install, then uh, it's okay. But if you don't see it highlighted, then you can move this option by just uh, pressing down or up keys. So just highlight the graphical install option and then press enter. And now you will see here this kind of window. So here you can select the language in which you want to install Kali. I want to install Kali in English. So I'm going to just choose English and then click on continue. And now you can choose the location. So I'm going to leave it as United States, but if you want to change this location to something else according to your area, then you can uh, choose that also and then click on continue. Now you can choose the keyboard layout. So many different countries have different keyboard layouts for their uh, uh, laptops. So for me, I'm using the German keyboard layout. So I'm going to choose the German uh, option here. But if you are using something else, then you can choose something else. Once you do that, you will see that this process of installation will start. And now you can see this window. So here you can configure your network. By default, your host name will be uh, Kali. So I'm going to leave it as default, but you can change it uh, anytime. And then uh, you can also see uh, this option at the bottom at any time whenever you see this option which says VMware tool enables many features and improve mouse uh, uh, movement, video and performance, then you might want to click this install tools button. Okay, so just click on install tools whenever you see this uh, option appearing in the installation stage. So I'm going to just click on install and then click on yes. Now I'm going to just click on the continue button and here you can provide the domain name. If you don't have any domain name, you can leave it as blank and then click on continue. And now you can provide the username and password. So first of all, you can provide the full name of the user. In my case, I'm going to just write code bind here. You can uh, give any name uh, here whatever you want and then click on continue and then uh, this will be the username so because i have provided the uh, code bind as the full name also so this option appears automatically for me this or this username you can also change so it's not necessary that the full name and the username must be same but i will leave it as default which is code bind and then click on continue and now you can provide a strong password for the login of your Kali Linux operating system. So this password which you provide here will be used at the time of login, right? So I'm going to just provide the password and then I'm going to just verify this password and then click on continue. And now just choose the clock location. So. If you remember, I have chosen uh, US as the location. So I will see the options according to the uh, location I have uh, set in the earlier stages. If you have uh, checked something else, then here you will see different options. So just choose the option which is nearer to your physical location and then click on continue. Now here on this next window, I can see partition disk option. So I'm going to choose uh, this option which says guided use entire disk and then click on continue and then click continue once again. 
and then uh, here you have three options I'm going to choose the first option which is all files in one partition okay and then click on continue and then uh, just choose the last option and then click on continue and here partition disks so it's going to ask you write the changes to the disk so if you want to write the changes to the disk just select the yes option and then click on continue now in the next option I can configure the package manager if you have any specific package manager uh, information you can provide it here but if you don't have any information you can also leave it as blank so I'm going to leave it as blank and then click on continue now in the next step I see this uh, message which says installation step failed and installation step failed you can try to run the failing item again from the menu so this might be specific to my uh, Windows operating system or my internet connection so for now I'm going to uh, just uh, click on the continue button and then I'm going to just uh, leave it as default which is select and install software and then click on continue now after some time you can uh, see uh, this option which says at the moment only the core of the system is installed the default selections below will install the Kali Linux with the standard desktop so if you want to install the standard desktop which is XFCE uh, here then just leave everything as default otherwise you can uh, install genome desktop environment or KDE plasma desktop environment or any other uh, desktop environment which is listed here for now I'm going to leave everything as default and then click on uh, continue so now in the next step I see uh, this window which says install the grub bootloader on hard disk you just need to select yes and then click on continue and then in the install the grub bootloader on hard disk you can choose the second option which says forward slash dab forward slash sda and then click on the continue button and now at the end I can see uh, this message which says finish the installation installation is complete so it's time to boot into your new system make sure to remove the installation media so that you can uh, boot into the new system rather than restarting the installation so I'm going to just click on continue here which is going to finish the installation and restart or reboot my virtual machine now you don't need to do anything at this point just wait for some time until you see the Kali Linux login window so now I can see this Kali Linux login window and here I can provide the username which I have provided at the time of installation and then just provide the password which you have provided at the time of installation and then click on login and now I can see the Kali Linux desktop here so when I maximize this uh, window here the window of Kali will be resized according to the size of my uh, desktop so now you can start working with Kali Linux you can uh, directly see some menu options here you can open the terminal from here and you can uh, open the home directory from here and if you want to uh, open more apps you can just click on this uh, icon here and choose uh, all the apps or search for the apps which you want to install or which you want to use on your Kali Linux so this is how you can install Kali Linux on your VMware workstation player on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.